and welcome back um, our today's chapter will be regarding the sheet selection change event um, so what this means is whenever you change a selection in this manner it would automatically trigger a macro um, so the purpose of this event is um, to identify whether the user has changed um, his selection on the active workbook so the example that I will demonstrate today will be using an idle timer which means if a user does not change his selection for X number of seconds then we would like to close down the workbook so it's a really exciting example to demonstrate so to start off with you may want to jump down to Visual Basic firstly we need to define a public variable so for example public counter as integer so as soon as the workbook opens up we would like to assign the value of 1 to counter now um, you may want to jump down to your module and you may want to create two sub procedures the first one will be idle timer setup and um, the second procedure you may want to name it um, idle timer check now through the workbook open event when we define counter as one we will use application on time now plus time value which will be a second so we are saying after a second time after one second you need to run a procedure which will be idle timer setup so what this would do is this would call the procedure of idle timer setup after a second after you open the workbook now in this procedure of idle timer setup what we will do is we will again use application dot on time now plus time value which will again be a second and through this procedure we will call the procedure which will be idle timer check now in idle timer check what we will do is we will check if counter um, no firstly we will increase um, we will check yep if if the value of counter which means if counter is greater than 10 then active workbook dot close save changes false so we are saying um, basically a 10 second buffer if the user hasn't done anything on a sheet for like 10 seconds then we need to close down the work workbook as a part of it being idle now if it isn't 10 then what we will do is we will increase the value of counter by 1 so counter will be counter equal to counter plus 1 and then again we will call the either timer setup function which will call this function which will again repetitively call this function now um, this will keep increasing counters value now what if we had to go and change the value of counter so you would need to come down to this workbook in your tabs you would need to select um, sheet change so here we go um, no actually it's not sheet change that would be just the sheet change it would be um, sheet selection change event so um, in this you may want to write counter is equal to one so what this would do is every time a user changes his selection on a sheet that would reset the timer back to one which would prove that the user is actually not idle and perhaps it would prevent the workbook from closing down so now as an example let's close down this workbook and let's try reopening the workbook which would automatically trigger the event and um, we need to enable macros now if you look at this the timer has okay so we've got an error so um, the error has occurred is because we cannot define a public variable in this module so we'll have to define it somewhere over here in a regular module so what we may want to do is we, wa we may want to try and open this once again we need to enable macros now if you look at this um, our coding has started and since I'm making changes I'm moving my cells my workbook wouldn't close but similarly um, if I stop moving cells if I just leave my workbook idle and if I just count to probably 10 you may notice that this workbook may just close down very soon so um, as you can see here's the results and this is how the workbook, workbook sheet changing event does work so anyways guys thanks for watching and stay tuned for more